Welcome to Excel magic trick number 1,337. Hey, if you want to download this Excel workbook, Excel magic trick 1,337 start or the finished file so you can follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, this video is called XY Scatter from a Pivot Table. Well, of course we want to do it from a Pivot Table because Pivot Tables are easy. But no way. We're going to run into a terrible problem and Power Query will come to our rescue. Now here's our data set. We have date, product, and units. And all I need to do is summarize the daily unit sold into a single number so I can plot the date as x and the unit sold as y. So I'm going to do a pivot table. Click in a single cell, Insert, Pivot Table, or we can use the keyboard Alt-N-V. It guessed right because we have a proper data set with empty cells all the way around. I want to put it on this existing sheet. I'm going to put it in the location E5. Click OK. Now here's our field list. We drag date down to rows, which instantly gives us a unique list. Oh, but wait a second. I'm in Excel 2016, so it automatically groups by month. I do not want that, so I drag the months off. Now I have a unique list of dates. And notice our data set over here only has weekdays. So we do not have all the days in the year. Now we can simply drag units down to values. There's the total. There's the date for every date we sold something. Now we can use this to plot our XY scatter chart. Oh, but wait a second. Row labels is not a good column header in our pivot table. So I come up to Design, Report Layout, Show in Tabular. All right, now I'm going to click in a single cell, Insert, over to Charts. And this is the XY. And all we want to do is plot. And when I click Plot, what? You can't create this chart type with data inside a pivot table. Please select a different chart type or copy data outside the pivot table. Now, no problem. Before Power Query, we could take this, copy it out here as values only, and boom, we can make our XY scatter. But what if we needed the data to update? Now, I didn't create this as an Excel table, so we weren't going to update it here. But guess what? From now on, I am not going to use a pivot table when I need to go from big data set to summarize to XY scatter. And why? Because Power Query can do exactly what a pivot table can do. What did it do? Pivot tables give us a unique list and then some calculation based on the criteria. In databasing, they call this group by. And Power Query can do that perfectly. It can do anything that a simple pivot table like this can do. Now I'm going to click in a single cell. In order to bring it up to Power Query, we have to convert this to an Excel table. So I click on the Table button or Control-T. Click OK. I'm immediately going to name this Design Properties or Table Name or use the keyboard Alt-J-T-A. And I'm going to call this Date Units and Enter. Now with the entire table selected, or a single cell, in 2016, you come up to Data. And Get and Transform is our Power Query. In Excel 2013 or 10, you actually have to download it and insert a new Power Query tab. From Table is the button we click in any version to get data from an Excel table into Power Query. Or we can use the keyboard Alt-APT. There's our three columns. I'm going to come over and name this. This name will be the name of the query and the resultant table that gets dumped back into Excel. So I'm going to name this something like Daily Sales Report and Enter. Now we do not need product. Right click, Remove. Date, I'm going to select that. In the Home ribbon, I'm going to come up to Data Type and select Date. Now here's exactly what a pivot table will do. Unique list from here, some aggregate calculation over here. I select Date in Power Query, go up to Group By. You can think of Group By just like a pivot table or count ifs or sum ifs. The field that's listed under Group By will give us the unique list. Then we come down here to do our aggregate calculation. The new column is going to have the name Total Units. The operation, our aggregate calculation, will be sum. 
And the column we're going to do a sum on, units. Click OK. And just like that, we have our pivot table done with Power Query. Now I can come up to close and load, close and load to table, existing worksheet, collapse button. I'm going to try and put it in H5, click OK, click load. Looks almost the same, but now when I click in a single cell, go up to insert, over to charts, there's my XY scatter, and boom, there it is. Now, very important with XY scatter, I want to click over here, and we want to add labels to the X and the Y. Now, in some cases, your X and Y labels indicating what the X and Y variable are can be self-evident, but I'm usually pretty careful. I like to list them. So I'm going to click the plus, axis titles. I'm going to come down here. Notice it's got a solid line, not a dashed line. I'm going to just start typing X dash daily dates. Now, notice nothing appeared here. If you look up to the formula bar, it, it appears up in the formula bar. But as soon as I hit Enter, there it is. Now I'm going to do the same thing over here, X dash units and Enter. Now, I don't like these dates right here, so I'm going to click on the axis, Control-1 to open up my task pane, Format axis. We have these little series axis options here. And down here, we have number. I'm actually going to create a custom number format, highlight and type MMM. I want to see the month name, even though we have daily dates. Click Add. There we have our months, even though these are daily dates. There's just too many days to fill this up. All right, I'm going to click on the vertical grid lines and use the Delete key. The title is not very informative. I'm going to type. Up here in the formula bar, you can see I typed Boomerang Inc. 2016 units sold and Enter. And there we go. We thought we could make an XY scatter from a pivot table. But Power Query can do the same kind of grouping aggregate calculation as a pivot table. And it has no problem with an XY scatter. Now, you know, when I encountered a problem like this before Power Query, I'd whip something like this out. And th this, is, this is insane. These are array formulas. Here's my formula for a unique count of the dates. Here's the formula to extract unique dates. And then here's a simple formula to add. That is crazy. Pivot tables don't work. Power Query is the way to go. All right, we'll see you next video.